What is ideology, according to Michel Foucault? My name is Rodrigo Guim, an anthropologist and social critic, and this is Critique with Nietzsche and Foucault. In an interview entitled Truth and Power from 1977, Foucault makes his most direct critique of the concept of ideology. In an excerpt from the interview, he says, citation, The notion of ideology appears to me to be difficult to make use of for three reasons. The first is that, like it or not, it always stands in virtual opposition to something else which is supposed to count as truth. End of citation. Ideology in a certain dominant discourse, which is dominant even today, refers to ideas that are detached from reality or from so-called truth. Truth here understood as univocal, scientific. In short, there are many discourses that pose themselves as non-ideological today, but that are thus based precisely on this idea of a universal truth, which would be attainable if only we could extract ideology out of it and push it away. Foucault continues, citation. Now I believe that the problem does not consist in drawing the line between that in a discourse which falls under the category of scientificity or truth and that which comes under some other category, but in seeing historically how effects of truth are produced within discourses which in themselves are neither true nor false. The second drawback is that the concept of ideology refers, I think necessarily, to something of the order of a subject Thirdly, ideology stands in a secondary position relative to something that functions as its infrastructure, as its material, economic determinant, etc. For these three reasons, I think that this is a notion that cannot be used without circumspection. End of citation. Ideology appears here in Foucault as a form of practice, a discursive practice in relation to other practices. Ideology ceases to be with Foucault, just a result of material practices, let's say, to be part of them. It's as practices that we can better understand the functioning of what is called ideology. The dominant ideas of our society not only legitimate a posteriori, that is, after practices are established, but ideas are in themselves material in the sense that they are producers and reproducers of realities. For Foucault, there is no dualism of theory and practice that supports the dominant concept of ideology that both on the right and on the left are used as false conscience or as conscience derived from something outside it and which acts on conscience as possessing it and then for one to have a revolution it would be enough just to get rid of that thing called ideology for example. As if consciousness were an effect and only an effect of material life, economic processes, etc. However, ideas don't just work to justify or legitimize practices. Ideas also produce, they are part of relations that produce practices. Ideas are practical in a very material and historical sense. Ideas are not just a result, they are already material and immaterial practices at the same time. We can even speak of, with Foucault, of the materialism of the incorporeal, as Foucault said. Well, people, that's all for today. Thank you all. Please comment so we can expand this conversation. This is a very large conversation, which I hope to be able to come back to many more times. I want to thank all my supporters on Patreon and other websites and see you soon.